You hop out. You hop out. Yo, E, stay in there, all right? A traffic stop in New York City leads to a young black man being arrested for possession of marijuana. All right, this was in the back seat on the floor. So marijuana cigarette. Marijuana laws have relaxed in much of the country, but in New York, there were still 18,000 arrests made last year. Those arrests are rarely contested. What? You can do it from the sidewalk. Step back. Yo, you were just playing something in my car? But videos provided to the Times by public defenders in this case raise troubling questions about how far officers are willing to go to make an arrest. The NYPD told us the officers in this case did not act improperly. Here's what happened. Give me your license. Officers Elmer Pastran and Kyle Erickson stop a BMW in Staten Island in February of 2018. They say the car windows were excessively tinted and the driver turned without signaling. Inside are four young black men. I don't appreciate being lied to. I know there's weed in the car. I smell it. No, no we just smoke. I swear to God, we just smoke. As backup arrives, they search the occupants. Wait, why are you searching me? Like, why are you touching me? No, I don't have nothing on me. Officer Pastran recognizes some of the passengers and tells his partner that they are members of a violent gang from the area. The driver, Lasu Cayute, pleaded guilty to an assault in 2016. Erickson searches the passenger side and looks into the rear of the car. Note the rear floor area. This becomes important soon. Erickson moves to the driver's seat and says he needs to find something incriminating. Just as Erickson says this, his body camera goes off. He later said it had a technical issue. But Pistran's body cam continues rolling. He's searching the rear. Note the floor area again. Later, Erickson would say in court that he found a lit joint in plain view here. Back seat looks pretty clear. But Pistron, who's leaning right over the area, doesn't see anything. A minute later, Erickson enters the rear of the car. He searches the back seat. Remember, his camera is still off. But Pistron's camera catches Erickson. He appears to be fiddling with something in the back seat, but at no point suggests that he has found anything. The officers chat in the front. They've been searching the car for three and a half minutes. Nothing clean. The owner of the car, who has his cell phone out, films Erickson holding small plastic bags. Yo, you were just playing something in my car? Bro, step back. Excuse me. Step Wait, back. hold on. Step back. back. Yo, he pressed something in my car, yo. He pressed something in my car. We don't know where the bags come from or what Erickson is doing with them. The driver is handcuffed and his phone is taken from him. Yo, why am I getting locked up? Pastran tells another officer that no contraband was found. Nah, we, we didn't find it, but he's bugging out, so I guess now it's going to be OGA. He's not letting us do our job, you know? At the same time, Erickson is inside the car. His body cam turns back on. It has been off for over four minutes. The first 30 seconds of video have no sound. That's because police body cams keep rolling and save a segment of video that's filmed just before they're switched back on. The audio begins here, signifying the moment the camera was activated. Yeah. Let's rewind. It's activated just as Erickson discovers evidence. He reaches toward the floor behind the driver's seat. He comes up holding a joint. Yeah. And claims it's lit. He believes this allows him to arrest all of the car's occupants. Police officers are under pressure to make arrests, and many would naturally think that four arrests are better than one. But Pistron shoots down the idea. Stand back, please. Thank you. All right, this was in the back seat on the floor. So I want a cigarette. It's lit. Just had to put it out. Yeah. 
I found this again. Hold on. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was lit when I found it on the floor. Yeah. That's why he's walking out. Take them all. Huh? You want to take them all? Um, we, we only have it on him. I thought it was back now. Yeah? Yeah. So he, he's on the floor. Yeah, but uh, anything, uh, uh, narcotics in a car burning. All of them gone. No, not weed. Sure. Yeah. All right, listen, we found it, okay? Okay. Yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. As he's taken to a police station, the driver, now in handcuffs, talks to Pastrana. Yo, so y'all just put me in my car, son? Bro, we did not do that. Why would we do He has a camera, I have a camera. He has a camera, I have a camera. Why would we do that? Like I said, the minute we stopped you, everything's being recorded. So for him to do that, that'd be the dumbest thing ever. He'd lose his job over a dumb arrest like this. The driver was charged with possession of marijuana and spent two weeks in jail. During the court hearing, Officer Erickson testified that the joint was lit and in plain view when he found it on the floor. But remember, Pistron declared the area clean. That footage was entered into evidence, and during Erickson's testimony, the judge intervened. The police department was advised that Erickson should get a lawyer. And in the end, the marijuana case was dismissed and sealed. The NYPD told us that internal investigators examined these videos and found no police misconduct. Officer Pastran did not return our calls, and Officer Erickson declined to comment.